7 Foods You Should Never Eat, Hey There, Folks! Buckle up because in today's video, we're going on a culinary detective journey, uncovering the truth behind 7 common foods that might just be masquerading as your kitchen friends. Prepare to be surprised and informed as we expose the hidden sides of these everyday items. From breakfast favorites to the go-to snacks, we're about to reveal why they might not deserve a spot on your plate. Are you ready to challenge what you think you know about healthy eating? First up, orange juice. It's a breakfast staple for many, but did you know that most commercial orange juice undergoes pasteurization? This process heats the juice, diminishing its nutritional value. Particularly vitamin C, leaving you with a beverage high in sugar and low in benefits. It's essentially like sipping on sugar water, causing a quick spike and drop in your blood sugar levels without providing substantial nutrition, soy protein isolates, at the heart of many health-focused products like weight loss supplements and protein shakes, soy protein isolates are celebrated for their high protein content with minimal fat. However, the process of isolating soy protein typically involves high temperatures and sometimes harsh chemicals, which can denature some of the protein, making it harder for the body to digest. Furthermore, unfermented soy products have been criticized for containing anti-nutrients. Substances that can interfere with the absorption of minerals and digestion of proteins. There's also concern over phytoestrogens in soy, which have been linked to hormone-related issues, though research is ongoing. Alternatives? Consider plant-based proteins that are less processed, such as pea protein, or if you consume animal products, organic whey or casein protein might be preferable, high fructose corn syrup. HFCS, this ubiquitous sweetener is found in a wide array of products, from sodas to salad dressings. Its appeal to manufacturers comes from being cheaper and sweeter than cane sugar. However, the body metabolizes HFCS differently than other sugars, leading to increased fat deposition in the liver and a higher risk of metabolic issues like obesity and type 2 diabetes. The fructose in HFCS is also a known trigger for insulin resistance, a precursor to diabetes. Healthier sweetening options include natural sweeteners like stevia, honey, in moderation, or even opting for products that are low in added sugars to begin with, commercial meats with nitrates. Nitrates and nitrites are preservatives added to meats like bacon and sausages to prolong shelf life and enhance color. Once ingested, these compounds can convert into nitrosamines, substances linked with an increased risk of certain cancers, such as colorectal cancer. The controversy isn't just about the nitrates themselves, but also about the conditions under which commercial meats are produced, often involving antibiotics and growth hormones. For a healthier option, seek out meats labeled nitrate-free and from animals that were grass-fed or raised without the routine use of antibiotics and hormones. Commercial milk, the conventional milk supply can contain artificial hormones like recombinant bovine somatotropin, RBST, used to increase milk production in cows. There are concerns that these hormones could affect human health, including potential links to cancer. Milk from RBST-treated cows has been debated for years, with some studies suggesting possible risks and others showing no significant difference. To err on the side of caution, choosing organic milk or milk labeled as RBST-free ensures you're avoiding these artificial hormones. Additionally, plant-based milks like almond, oat, and soy provide alternatives, though it's essential to check for added sugars and other additives. TV dinners and similar prepackaged meals often lack nutritional quality, offering a mix of proteins, starches, and sugars that can disrupt your insulin levels. These meals might be convenient but they're far from the best choice for your health. Lastly, be cautious with fruits imported from certain countries. Regulations vary, and some places still use pesticides like DDT, banned in the United States since the 1970s. Consuming these fruits might expose you to harmful chemicals, we're eager to hear your thoughts and experiences with these foods. Drop a comment below, and if you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content. See you in the next video.